Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazpiececasebreaks.com with 2021 Top Dating Club Baseball 4 box random team break number 8. One spot gets you three teams and all cards ship. Big thanks to this group here for getting in on the action. Let's triple you up. There's one already. There's two and there's three. And all 30 teams are in. And let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Three and a three. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we've got Todd down to Neil. And three and a three, six the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five and sixth and final time good luck after six we got the Astros down to the Pirates all right so Todd with the Astros and the Cardinals Kevin with the Rangers Wes with the Royals Kevin Culver with the Rockies Kevin Crouch with the Blue Jays Michael with the O's and the Rays, Andrew with the Red Sox, Wes with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the Angels, Andy with the Mariners, Andrea with the Yankees, Kevin with the uh, Cleveland Indians, Todd with the Twins, Andy with the Reds, Kevin Crouch with the Mets, Andrew with the Phillies, Andrea with my Dodgers and the Cubs, Neil with the White Sox, Andrea with the Brewers, Tigers and Marlins, Andrew with the Padres, Neil with the Giants, Andy with the Nats, Wes with the A's, Kevin Culver with the Braves, and Neil with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's sort by team. And we're going to pause the video, give uh, give people a little bit of time to trade. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. No deals were done. It's all good here on Tuesday the 29th. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action here. And this is the final four boxes of that case we popped open. And the next set of uh, four boxes are going to be from a fresh case. Let's see, sometimes the box toppers can be autographed. This one is not, but there's Don Mattingly box topper for the Yankees. That'll be for Andrea. Good luck, everybody. Let's see, while I rip open these packs, anything? See what's going on in the in the baseball world? I don't think I don't think any game has started yet. Maybe at the top of the hour, we're going to see some games. Rays at Nationals, Marlins at Phillies, Angels at Yankees, Mariners at Blue Jays, Tigers at Indians, Royals at Red Sox. Padres at Reds, Mets at Braves. I think those are your early slate of games. And then there's Orioles at Astros a little bit later. Twins at White Sox, Cubs in Milwaukee, Diamondbacks are in St. Louis. Pirates at Rockies in some of the later games, Rangers at A's. And the last game of the night will be Giants at Dodgers. I can't believe that I can't believe that Kevin Gossman, eight and one, one point four nine ERA. How wild is that? I don't think that's anything I expected from Kevin Gossman. the gate is a Jazz Chisholm rookie card.
That'll be for the fish, Andrea with the Marlins. The uh, black foil, Keegan Aiken. Remember, all cards ship, so in case I miss something, don't worry. It'll it'll get to you. Ooh, look at that. Cal Ripken Jr. autograph. That's awesome. Who's that? And who's this player? Right? Is that looks like a, a Red Sox? Is that Wade Boggs? That might be Wade Boggs. Kind of looks looks like him, right? It's a cool photo. Michael, Michael G with the Baltimore Orioles. There you go, Mike. Not numbered, but a good-looking card. Excellent photography on Stadium Club. It is Wade Boggs? Or is it Wade Boggs, Hollywood's asking or confirming? The, his number is 26. I just looked at it. I'm not good with numbers. His number is 26, so it's, it is probably him. Sixto Sanchez. Still don't know what's happening here. Johnny Bench holding some balloons. We got a Manny Machado die cut for the Padres. Possibly Buckner. I think Buckner was, I'm looking at, a, he's number six. So, so I think Boggs is probably the correct guess. I think that's Bench holding the balloons, no? Let's, let's see if we can run into another one of those. Stadium Club Chrome, Glaber, Glaber Day. numbered card and autographed nice so there is Andre Scrub on card autograph red foil which is also numbered that's Todd who got randomized the Astros gets the 7 out of 50 this scrub Is that the context of, of Johnny Bench holding the... I feel like that's not a... I guess, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is Johnny Bench calling out calling out Pete Rose. But I feel like it's not a, uh, a Benchian thing. I feel like he was a lot more subtle than that, but maybe not.
All right, that was the first box. And the next box. Nice, thank you, Sean. Here's the big hurt. Big box topper for the big hurt. Chicago White Sox, Neil. The Brewers are planning to call up left-handed pitching prospect Aaron Ashby, part of the uh, part of the Ashby family. So that 23-year-old expected to start work out of the bullpen initially. Ashby is one of the game's more exciting prospects, pitching prospects, according to MLBTradeRumors.com. Milwaukee selected him in the fourth round in 2018 out of Crowder Junior College, and his prospect status has steadily improved throughout his time in pro ball. So, we dust off your uh, dust off your Ashby's. I feel like we've pulled some of this stuff. 2018 Bowman stuff. was a trade, right? Blue Jays acquire Adam Simber and Corey Dickerson. Blue Jays adding adding to their team. And here, I think this is our first suspension for a foreign substance. Yeah, Major League Baseball, an hour or so ago, announced that Mariners lefty Hector Santiago has been suspended 10 games and fined an undisclosed amount for possessing a foreign substance on his glove in the fifth inning. Sunday's game against the White Sox. Santiago is appealing the decision. Mariners manager is saying that, that it was just rosin. So we'll see. Wow. The Lee actually did not further inspect Santiago's glove, ESPN's Jesse Rogers reporting. The ejection and suspension are based solely on the umpire's discretion? That's a rather surprising development, one that speculators being could prompt some union pushback. Wow. Well, that's crazy. So um, um could just not like a player and be like, eh, you're done. I'm going to suspend you for 10 games. The league doesn't even take a look before a suspension. That seems kind of wild. There's a Dominic Smith, black and white, orange parallel. Dominic Smith for uh, Kevin and the Mets. And I think this is, there, there's a few case hits. I'm pretty sure this is one. Kind of the gold on gold. That's uh, Jacob DeGrom. It's Kevin Crouch and the Mets. Definitely the front runner for the Cy Young, I would think. I mean, Kevin Gossman. Possibly MVP consideration for Jacob Brown. And there's the auto. There's Santiago Espinal. Rookie auto for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Kevin Crouch. Catch? Think he catches that? And we've got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. die cut for Kevin and the Blue Jays.
Jackson Verlander, black foil. And the autograph is Zach McKinstry. Nice, giving, giving a high five to Will Smith in this photo here. It's Andrea with the Dodgers. That's a really, really nice surprise. I mean, he was out of the 2016 draft, round 33, pick number 1001. And really looked good in spring. And made the team. Good for him. what the usual, the regular Stadium Club Chrome card looks like for Jacob DeGrom. All right, box two done. Box three, Stadium Club Baseball. Got about another 15, 20 minutes to go on this one. Any auto here? No. Juan Soto for Andy. What other baseball news happening here? Dusty Baker saying Astros don't expect Bregman back for at least a month. White Sox and Diamondbacks making progress in Eduardo Escobar talks. Yeah, poor Mike Soroka busting up that same Achilles. We heard that news a few days ago. Joey Lucchese undergoing Tommy John. Yesterday, Scott Boris saying in an interview with Jesse Doherty of the Washington Post, Scott Boris struck a somewhat different tone. But when players are traded, you refer to contract amendments. It does not necessarily mean an extension. It could be any amendment that gives him a reason to exercise his rights. That's up to the player at the time. Max and I have never discussed the subject. Moreover, Boris noted that the Nationals' recent surge in the standings renders any trade speculation largely moot, as the team now increasingly looks like a potential deadline buyer or at least one that won't sell off major assets. And Nationals have been playing some really good baseball. After seeming like they weren't going to make too much noise this season, and obviously Kyle Schwarber, you know, Kyle Schwarber must be looking at looking at Major League fastballs, and they look like the size of a beach ball. Yeah. Nats have climbed up to 38 and 38, just a few games behind the Mets. And uh, they, they've won seven out of their last 10 games and have won a couple in a row. Trevor Rogers, really nice start to his rookie year for the Marlins. That's going to be for Andrea. Oh, speaking of Scherzer, there he is right there. Oh, 
There's the auto. I almost missed it. There's Cody Whitley. Rookie auto for the STL, Todd, with the Cardinals. There you go, Todd. I cut here and it's Kirsch, Clayton Kershaw. Great start for him recently. Andrew with the Dodgers. Great photo of Ryan McMahon. Love the photography in stadium clothes. Is that a catch? Is that a catch? Charlie Blackman out there? That, that, that looks like a catch. And you don't see the baseball. Oh, and what do we got here? We've got InstaVision. Francisco Lindor, Cleveland edition. Kevin Culver. Cleveland, this is for you. Trevor Rogers black foil for the Marlins for Andrea. There's Kyle Finnegan for Andy and the Nationals. That's definitely a catch. Look at that. Nice picture of Cody Bellinger. Although he's, he's not even looking at the ball. He's just kind of throwing his glove up there. That's going to be a catch. There's a Cabrian Hayes. Sometimes when you flip those around, those are autographs. Cabrian Hayes, rookie card for the Pirates, Neil. Ball there. All right, what were our two autographs? Oh, it was the Cody Whitley, and then there was the the Finnegan. All right. All right. Final box here in 2021. Top Seeding Club Baseball four box random team break number eight. Next break of this, the next four box break that we have available on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com number nine from a fresh case and there's another Don Mattingly box topper for Andrea and the Yankees. All right, and after we do this last box, we're going to we're going to rock through about 30 some odd orders here. And then we'll see what else we can uh, 
see what else we can add to the schedule. Red Sox have won four in a row. They're, they're, still, they're still looking strong. Yeah, Sean, I see you. Wednesday and Thursday. Thanks, Sean Jaspi. There are some other hot teams here. No, that's a mill. Brewers have won six in a row. They're eight and two in their last ten. Pulling away from the Cubs, who have lost four in a row. Dodgers on a little four-game winning streak, six and four in their last ten. Trying to important series against the Giants, trying to win some games there. That NL East looks pretty exciting, guys. I think that's going to be a fun finish. The Nats and the uh, Braves. Even the Phillies are still in the mix. Chase trying to chase down the, uh, the Mets. All right, final box of Stadium Club. Thanks, everybody. Let's see what we're going to close out with. Let's make a nice shot of Brandon Lau. Is that a catch? His glove is closed, but it doesn't look like there's a baseball in there. Maybe that's a catch. We'll give that a catch. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, we've got a redemption coming up. And it's a, it's a pretty nice one. Base card autograph red foil parallel. Bobby Dalbeck. Red Sox. Nice one for Andrew and Boston. And we got a Juan Soto die cut. Triumvirate's die cut for Andy and the Nationals. That's a catch. Joe Adele. Should be looking for one more, and that Dalvik was the first auto. So two autos a box. Not a lot of cards left. Where's the autograph? Not Shane Bieber. And there it is. Anoli Paredes. Rookie auto for Todd. The Todd father. And the Houston Astros.
<laughs> Hi, Rex. Rex, new here. What are sports cards and why are you breaking them? What are sports cards? I guess what they are are pieces of paper with players' names on them that could be traded and have various varying degrees of value depending on the player and the rarity of a card. Why are we bringing them? Because people like it. People like being able to collect things in general. Here's a Dick Madrigal right there, and that's that. 2021 Stadium Club Baseball, four box, random team break number eight in the books. A lot of nice stuff here. Thanks everyone for getting in on it. That's Bobby Dalbeck. Zach McKinstry autograph, some fun parallels, and of course we started off with that Cal Ripken Jr. autograph. Pretty sweet. Thanks everybody. Um, I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.